Well, good morning to you. My name is Scott Matthews. I'm one of the pastors here at the fellowship, and it's an honor to be with you. Before I begin, let me just encourage you this Sunday, would you join us at one of our campuses? Would you join us at Mount Juliet at 10 a.m. or maybe our Two Rivers campus at 1045? And if you're not ready to be in person just yet, join us online on our YouTube pages or our Facebook account. Join us there so we can worship together and we can experience this Christmas season as one body. I want to encourage you this morning because one of the neat things about the Advent season is this idea that God gives us joy through Jesus Christ. And as I read the Christmas story, I really was encouraged by Luke chapter 2, verse 10. Let me read it to you real quick. It's just a simple verse. The angel is talking to the shepherds. They get to hear about Jesus' birth, and they get to be first, which is awesome. But in that process of conversation, the angel says to them, he says, Don't be afraid, for look, I proclaim good news of great joy. That will be for all people. That term, good news of great joy for all people. How incredible it is that the joy that God gives is not for the the select few, but it's for all people. You may be facing a season in your life. You may be going through this year. You may have had different times in your life where you felt like God's joy was just absent from your life. You may have felt like it was unattainable. You may have felt like it was only for certain people. But let me encourage you this morning that God's joy is for all people. It's not only great joy, it's good news. And the good news is Jesus Christ. Because for us and what we proclaim here at the fellowship and what we teach in our Bible studies and our life groups and ministries, we proclaim the name of Jesus because we believe with all our hearts that Jesus is the difference maker that we all need. We know from scripture, it's the only way to get to God. He says, I'm the way, the truth, and life. No one gets to the father, but through me. So when I hear these words and I look at the Christmas story and, and the angel says, I bring you good news of great joy for all people. This announcement, this proclamation that Jesus Christ has arrived, that's the good news. The reason he has arrived is to give us great joy that lasts for eternity. And the way that we achieve that is through a relationship with him. What's really neat about it is in in this situation, and and right here in the Bible in Luke chapter 2, all throughout the scriptures that we've read so far in Advent and all the scriptures that you will read on your personal time, you will see that at just the right time, God shows up. And if nothing else gives you great joy, it is that I want you to know that in your life right now, God is going to show up in your life and he's going to bring you great joy. And that's going to be through Jesus Christ. I've heard it said a couple of times. J.D. Greer said it just a few days ago as I was watching a video. If you have a problem, you're a candidate for a miracle. And I would say I'm kind of morphing that into this conversation. If you have something in your life where you are struggling, then you are a candidate for God's joy. And not only are you a candidate, but you're guaranteed at some point God's going to bring it if you will choose Jesus Christ. And so it is our prayer that you, this Christmas season, would choose Jesus. All the things that you may be dealing with, I want you to know that God's joy can surpass them all. It's the joy that doesn't last for a moment, but it's the joy that can last for eternity. So this morning, really just think about it. Just pray. Am I absent of joy? And if I say yes to that question, I'm absent of joy, then how is my relationship with Jesus? Does it exist at all? If not, we would encourage you to come talk to us. We'd love to share with you about how you can know Christ personally and receive the same joy that we have. And if you have that relationship, but you're absent a little bit, maybe it's just you need to just pivot just a little bit to turn your eyes back on him. Because when Jesus is in the room, there's always great joy for all people. Let's pray together. Father, it's my hope that whoever watches this video today would just be encouraged that the great joy that you bring through Jesus Christ is not available for a few but your word says it is available for all. So God, if we find ourselves watching this video, we find ourselves absent of joy. Would you encourage us through scripture and through conversation, maybe even through personal connection time with you or someone else, God, that your joy is indeed for all people, including ourselves. Fathers, we worship you this weekend and we learn more about this joy that you offer. Would you continue to remind us how good and faithful you are? And God, as we think about Christmas, we thank you so much for Jesus Christ that when his announcement of his birth comes into the scriptures and we get to read them, we can say with great confidence, just as the angel did, this is good news of great joy for all people. So Father, this week, this day, this season that we're in, be with us, walk with us, teach us, help us to understand and appreciate, value, and receive the great joy that only you can offer. Father, we love you. Continue to walk with us step in step. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Have a great weekend.